This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. Also, make sure to check out and subscribe to our YouTube original channel, UCTV Prime, available only on YouTube. I started Children's Music Workshop in 1993. I had been a traveling instrumental music teacher in the Los Angeles Unified School District. Right now we have 24 schools where we do instrumental music programs, about half for public and half for private schools. Each school has its own orchestra, and we take the best students to create the All Schools Honor Orchestra. We perform in Schoenberg Hall at UCLA. The average age of an honor orchestra student is just 10 years old. Music has given my children so much more than just the joy of music. I think it's helped them in, in everything with life. professionals up there. My son started playing clarinet only in September and this is big progress. It's amazing. And it was an absolutely amazing, impressive production. They sound incredible. They sound professional. The performance was just phenomenal. Everybody was fantastic.
years old and I chose the violin because I saw my sister playing it before and it sounded really nice and I thought, I want to do that when I'm older. When I'm going to start to play that beautiful music. And I did. I was pretty scared. The first song, I was like, I'm about to be on live TV. And then, after that first song, I went, you know what? I'm gonna complete this thing, and I'm gonna do it well. I was a little nervous because I've never played in a big audience like that with so many people. I was scared at first. I was scared that I might mess up, but when I sat down and we played the first first one, I started to relax. I was pretty nervous when I walked down to the stage, but it was pretty amazing. I was having a lot of fun playing trumpet. how you weigh one subject matter over another in school, how, how you set those priorities. But as far as emotional health, psychological development, um, sense of well-being, music has just brought joy into my granddaughter's life. And I wouldn't want that to ever be cut out. You sit down and you feel like, oh, I'm about to be on TV. I'm scared. I'm shivering. And then you're wiggling. You're like, oh, what happens if I mess up? What happens if I don't catch up? And then after you play the first song, you're like, you know what? Let's continue this. You know what? We can succeed. It's just amazing. It's absolutely admirable to see that Larry Newman and the, his staff um, want to continue sharing their craft the way they do. I'm principal at Kinter Canyon, and I'm very proud to know that 25 of the students on the stage were from our program. And over my time at Kinter, I've seen our honor students go from one student to 25. I've seen our orchestra double, and I applaud Larry and his efforts and the way that he works with our entire community.
experience here has been wonderful and very special because I get to work together with different people and meet new friends every year and play the violin. <laughs> It's amazing, it's fun when they hear all those different instruments, you know, blasting out their song, part of the song. It's kind of like exciting and, and of course you're a little nervous because if you play the wrong note and there's supposed to be a rest, everyone hears you and it's happened a couple times, not with me, but you know. I'm in fourth grade and I decided to play violin because I can learn a new language, meaning music, I can speak music. It's, a, it's a, an amazing language because it's not you speak words, you play words. My brother, Dylan, is in honors orchestra this year and this is his second year and he plays flute. We play a lot, we play together and he, he likes and I like to merge our instruments together to create a new sound. I also love tennis, woodworking, and trips to Disneyland with my family. You don't have to be old. I started when I was in first grade, so you can be as young as you want to start playing. Music communicates your feelings, I guess you could say. If you're using the G string, I guess it's meaning a sad or a quiet song. A string makes me feel happy, and a D string makes me feel like I'm in a good mood. That's how I communicate. I think that music helps me throughout school, so it's a, it's a way to help me learn in class. The violin is a beautiful instrument and I would never want to play any other instrument.
We're a school that has always incorporated the arts into our educational program. We've never cut it. It's an integral visual and performing and arts are an integral part of our program. So we want to make sure that the funding stays there. That we, can, that we can continue to offer it because it offers so much to the children. It opens their eyes and their perspectives to a broader uh, richness of humanity. It's like learning music is like learning a second language. You develop your brain, you develop all sorts of cognitive resources that you wouldn't have otherwise at your fingertips. And uh, it, Im it improves their abilities in other areas, not just music. Plus it enriches their lives from a pleasurable standpoint. It feels scary and it also feels fun because I feel like when I'm in the orchestra, I feel like I have to do this correctly or else I won't make it. And for the happy side, I feel like I should keep on doing this. believe how incredibly talented these kids are. They're playing Haydn and Beethoven and these very, very complicated pieces. It just gets better and better every year. It's just an amazing thing. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. It's beautiful. Absolutely, you are doing a splendid job. I can't describe it. Oh, I'm just so proud of all these kids. They did a great job. It's such an inspiration. This year might have been the best. This was great. It's just so moving. I love it. I mean, the music and Larry and it's really special. It was a lot better than I thought it would be. It's really good. <laughs> audience and the performers you know I mean it's an interaction that happens that's magical it has to be something that you experience to really understand what that means and to be a child and, and to, to be able to go in front of people and do something like this and it, it, the confidence it builds and, and, and the pride it's just it's important for all these kids they need this they really do just realized today is Cinco de Mayo, so it makes sense that 
we play this, but I don't think you're quite in the mood yet. Could you get us in the mood? Go ahead, get us in the mood. Great. There's one thing missing though, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, Don't I need a hat? Yeah. Would there be a hat in the back for me? Yeah. Or could you bring it out? with his flute, I feel like it's like he he's definitely channeling his, his feelings through the flute and he just puts it out creatively through his instrument and that's I think a safe place for him. It's a place that's very familiar and feels really good for him. So it's, it's, his, it's his way, it's just his, his thing. This is not like any other experience. It's very rare and super fun to do. I don't think anything else is like this. If you want to try this, you should definitely do it. And if you like it, then go on with it and try to do your best at it. All right, you notice that on line A, it's G, E, 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 right? You can see that those are all E's, yes? 
So I didn't put letters under every note, if that's what's confusing. One, two, three, two, C, rest, rest, G, C. Beginning, here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. I like doing it so I can show my parents and my family and friends what I've learned, how I've improved. My whole mind goes into the music and I don't think about anything else and it kind of clears my mind. When they have an instrument and they're learning music and they sit down in a chair, um, it, it doesn't matter what socioeconomic background you come from, if you've done really badly in class or you do great in class or whatever's happening outside, it's a complete escape for, from the outside world, from their problems, re regardless of how small they are or how great they are in some, some cases. That is their escape. Once they leave, they're back to the outside world, and it really speaks to their soul inside. My son's Gus King and he is eight years old. He's been playing the piano since he was six and that's his main instrument and then he was excited to start the orchestra this year and so he took up the baritone horn at the beginning of this year and uh, luckily my mom, his grandma, is a great baritone horn player so she's been giving him a lot of private instruction to keep up. When he came home last fall and said that they were going to have a band and he wanted to be in it, 
I had an old baritone horn in the garage because I used to play it in high school, so we got it out and it was a little overwhelming for him at first, but he's been working really hard. It's pretty funny to see him carry it around school because <laughs> he can barely, it weighs as much as he does. So he just sort of lugs it around school. And it's been really exciting for him to be in the orchestra this year and it's been a good motivating factor in the, in the rehearsals too. He's got a lot of time for extracurricular activities. Right now he's playing baseball. Baseball, I'm really good at it. In one game, I hit two grand slams in one game. In America, our strength is our creativity and the way that we can find new ways of doing things. And I think music and the other arts are much more important in some ways than just rote learning for creative thinking and that's really the hope of our future and I think he's a much more creative thinker about math with the, the music because it kind of gets him around to thinking of other ways around a problem. I think it's a vital part of his life and I'm just really grateful that we can give him this opportunity. Next week for the performance it's gonna have to be overwhelming. I hope I can, I'll have to bring a lot of Kleenex to even watch. They all sound so good and it's a wonderful experience. What else can I say? And maybe um, next year I'll play a different instrument. I don't know, like trumpet or saxophone, or maybe tuba. <laughs>
My name is Jennifer Ritz, and I play the cello, and I am in fourth grade. She, she loves to play, and we really don't have to push her to practice. She, she'll practice on her own. She'll pick up the instrument and start practicing. I'm amazed when you have 150 people in that room, and they're actually coordinated and making really, really beautiful music. It's amazing. At this age, that's the other part of it. I mean, yeah, you're playing this mind. well at this age is just unbelievable. Oh, my dog Coco we've got when I was like three years old. Well, sometimes when I play, she seems like she's interested. So then she'll sit or lay near my chair while I'm practicing. One time she did knock my stand over and created a, a, a large gouge in my cello. Well, after school, I do fencing. Every Thursday, the goal of the game is to lay a touch on your opponent. If you have sword, they're called foils. Well, you can also use things called epes and sabers. For anyone who, who wants to begin playing the cello, at first it may seem like, oh, how, how can you play this instrument? It's a very hard, kind of difficult when you start out. You're given very basic bass lines, and so sometimes that can get a little teeterous. You have to get past that point. But once you do, it's just a very fun experience. Semper Paratus means always ready, and this is the theme song to the Coast Guard. And I chose this song this year um, as a way of sending my oldest child who's in 12th grade off to college because he's going to be attending the United States Coast Guard Academy in the fall. <laughs> so, so he actually leaves for basic training in June, so He'll be gone pretty soon. So this is for Brandon and for everybody. This is the theme to the Coast Guard. <laughs> Stanley Cayley and I play trumpet. I used to call the trombone the trumpets and when my mom asked me what um, instrument you want me to play uh, um, I said trumpet and then my mom and dad got me a trumpet instead of a trombone but I really enjoy playing a trumpet. I guess the first few months were just squeaks and the burping noises, you know, and, and trying to get uh, sounds. But then he, he pretty, I think, you know, within a couple of months, he was, he was starting to play the first three or four notes. Every time I practice trumpet, 
no matter where my dog is, it always um, sings, like howls and sings with me. So if he, if he plays anything above a, a, a C, the dog starts howling and sets off all the other dogs in the neighborhood. So we have this crazy cacophony of, of howling dogs. It's crazy. You kind of feel honored being able to play on that stage. Other than just some kind of auditorium, you, you get to play on a, a stage with lots of seats and you feel honored. People learn in different ways and, and people receive information and process and are able to process information in, in different ways. And it might be that music is the key to unlocking a pupil's understanding of some other discipline. So it, it, it seems silly to focus on essentials that may not correspond to a, a pupil's needs. Um, you're a small part of a big orchestra and it makes you feel kind of small and insignificant but also like really important because a puzzle wouldn't be complete without one piece. I'm so happy, it sounded so good, so amazing. That's the best I can say, you know. It didn't sound like an elementary school. I'm a professional musician, and I had tears in my eyes hearing him play the, the classics like that. It was just really, really good. It was really well done. It was unbelievable. The, the virtuosity was just, I, I couldn't stop listening to it, and when it ended, I didn't want to attend. I just can't say enough about keeping music in elementary school. It's just, uh, we can't not do it. It is absolutely important. This year, the orchestra sparkled, and we all felt it. So thank you very much to everybody involved.